Invasion Vengeance was released on November 4th, 2016. This set radically shifted the competitive landscape, introducing both powerful archetype-specific cards as well as standalone generic cards that would become ubiquitous across multiple strategies. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh!'s past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible. Welcome! to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Yeah! We're here! We're finally here! Folks, Welcome to Awesome Hero. Now, if you know one thing about me, it's that I enjoy myself a good elemental hero list, and that is what you are looking at in front of you. Awesome Hero is a revitalization of Mast Hero Dark Law Turbo that saw a lot of success, particularly at the regional level during this format. At YCS Anaheim, alongside the expected Magispector Metal Foes decks and ABC Dragon Buster decks, were a couple of decks making use of Totally Awesome, and arguably none more effectively than Elemental mental hero. But how, you may be asking? These cards don't play level 2 monsters. Well, it all has to do with this card, Elemental Hero Bubble Man. A power player in a previous build of hero, Bubble Beat, Elemental Hero Bubble Man comes home to roost here for two important reasons. Firstly, it's easy to special summon from the hand. Because Elemental Hero Bubble Man just requires you to have an empty hand to special him onto your side of the field, cards like Emergency Call, which could theoretically get a second copy of him, can be deployed afterwards. Set this card, summon a Bubble Man, grab another, summon it as well. No once per turn on this card at all. Secondly is this card, Bahamut Shark. Summoned ball with two level 4 monsters, this card can detach material to summon a rank 3 or lower Water Xyz monster from your extra deck. Here, totally awesome. Any water-oriented deck could theoretically access one of the most powerful negation tools of the time. And with so many ways to get Bubble Man into rotation between E Emergency Call, searches off Elemental Hero Shadow Mist, a hero lives in a pinch, it was not uncommon to be able to make Bahamut Shark, totally awesome, and even a Dark Law on your very first turn. There's some additional pieces to the puzzle. The water attribute Tin Goldfish was integral to making Bahamut Shark early and often. Instant Fusion at the time could get the water attribute Elder Entity Norden, which of course could make a totally awesome on his own, at least for the first couple of weeks. This is one of those decks that seems to have no bad matchups on paper. When you look at the rest of the field, ABC, Magispector, Metal Foes, those cards require their power players to make it into the graveyard, and cards like Mast Hero Dark Law eat them alive. But when you think about it a little more deeply, you realize there are some cracks under the surface. While this deck is pretty good at making Bahamut Shark and totally awesome, it's not perfect. Frequently, you will use a card like Summoner Monk in order to get an Elemental Hero Shadow Mist, and will therefore have to go into a generic rank 4, and while Rafflesia is good, it doesn't really cut the mustard anymore. Additionally, sometimes you lose the die roll, and you're on a huge amount of spell cards in order to be able to facilitate consistent Summoner Monk lines, which means you aren't able to play a lot of the trap cards that decks were known for during this period, instead settling for cards like Book of Eclipse and Twin Twister. These cards are powerful now, but at the time, and they paled in comparison to what other decks were capable of accomplishing. And finally, while the deck was explosive, it didn't exactly put out a ton of damage. Mass Hero Dark Law has 2,400 attack. Bahamut Shark can't attack the turn it makes a Totally Awesome. Frequently, you would be using the Totally Awesome in order to walk into a defense position monster your opponent set so they wouldn't die, attacking with Mass Hero Dark Law, and giving them another draw step. Sure, you'd probably taken over the game, but if your opponent has a couple of turns to find it out, sometimes they are going to do so. Eventually, this deck would become a casualty to a format that was a little more solved. But for the moment, let's take it for a spin. So we'll get into the cards real quick. Three copies of Elemental Hero, Bubble Man, three copies of Elemental Hero, Shadow Mist, one Goblin Berg, a searchable way to special summon a card out of your hand off of Reinforcement of the Army, two Summoner Monk, and three Tin Goldfish. After that, we've got spells, three A Hero Lives, three Book of Eclipse, three Emergency Call, triple Instant Fusion, triple Mask Change, two Pot of Desires, one Raigeki, one Reinforcement of the Army, triple Twin Twisters, and Upstart Goblin for traps. We've got Bottomless and Floodgate, our targets for Rafflesia, two Solemn Strike, and a warning in the side. We've got three Denko Seca, three Gamsiel the Sea Turtle Kaiju, double Maxi, triple System Down for ABC, triple Anti-Spell Fragrance. I don't have to tell you how good this card is in Hero. And two Quaking Mirror Force. In the extra, we've got Norden, Mast Hero Acid, Mast Hero Anki, double Mast Hero Dark Law, Abyss Dweller, double Bahamut Shark, Castell, Gagaga Samurai for damage, Utopia and Utopia the Lightning to get over big boys that Dark Law can't, double Totally Awesome, and one Trap Tricks Rafflesia. So with that, here's Alex. 
Well, last episode we didn't do too hot, but this time around I think we're going to be okay because we are playing one of our favorite decks and a deck that is arguably the best deck of the format, the post in off format, being ABC. Now, what's interesting is that Brilliant Fusion is a card that people had already experimented with in other decks, namely decks like Lightsworn and the like, and uh, initially with ABC, people weren't immediately on this card, even though you had to send a light monster to the graveyard in order to fulfill the cost for Seraphonite, and so it seems like a natural fit because it solves a lot of the deck's problems. One of the problems with this deck is that if you draw like too many letters or not any way to like get multiple monsters onto the field, you kind of get bricked and you're in a situation where you're just stuck with like an assault core with like something equipped to it and you pass and hopefully next turn you're able to do something. Brilliant Fusion solves a lot of this deck's issues in the fact that it bestows you with an extra normal summon and you don't need like a gold gadget, a silver gadget, a photon thrasher or something like that to pair with it. You can even just summon two letters out of your hand so it sort of solves the clogging issue that the letters can have. And so we're actually going to be playing the first place list from YCS Anaheim, I believe in November of 2016. So let's go ahead and do the card by card. We're playing three copies of A, three copies of B, two copies of C. This becomes more standard as time goes on as C isn't like that great, but you still need it because you need to summon Dragon Buster. So people cut down the third copy in favor of more space for their deck. Although this deck is playing 44 cards. Uh, we have two Gold Gadget, two Silver Gadget, two Photon Thrasher to act as like our additional summoners. We have one Trick Clown to go with our Brilliant Fusion because that's just an easy way to get a free monster on the board. We have two Max because obviously it's maxi. We have two Gem Knight Garnet. This is one of the reasons why I think the deck was playing 44 cards was you can play a second copy of Garnet and like it affects the ratios in such a way that it allows you to fire Brilliant Fusion like again potentially, which is kind of cool. Although uh, you'd have to recycle it first with like Emerald if you want to do that because you'd have to get Seraphonite back in the extra deck. But in any case, it's just something that actually allows you to continue using this card to make it not as dead. Speaking of Brilliant Fusion, we've got three of those. Double Dark Hole. Dark Hole's not like a terrible card in ABC because like you're kind of okay sometimes like nuking your own monsters because like you get value from them in the graveyard anyway and dark hole just clears a lot of annoying stuff during this format and so going second it's good but even going first it's not like the worst foolish burial gets us to stuff like trick clown but even any of our additional letters double instant fusion to go into norden of course triple pot of desire triple terraforming to get into our three copies of union hanger still one of the craziest field spells ever printed and double copies of twin twister for the spells for the traps triple d bear double strike and a vanity's emptiness the extra comprises of triple abc dragon buster a norden and a seraphonite and for the exes we have a dweller a sukuyo a Castell, a Digusto Emerald, two copies of Diamond Direwolf, a Gear Gigan, a number 39 to go with Lightning, as well as Rhapsody in Berserk. This is actually kind of good for graveyard-based decks because this is like a rank 4 DD Crow. The side deck has Triple Chaos Hunter, Triple Retaliating. See, this card actually starts seeing a little bit of play around this time. Double Magnet Reverse. This is a cool card that you could target a machine or rock monster that's banished from the graveyard that cannot be normal summoned or set, and special summon it, which means you can bring back Dragon Buster, which is hilarious. Double System Down for the Mirror, obviously, a third Twin Twister, double Anti-Spell, and double Double Typhoon. This is going to be an interesting one to see how it plays out against one of Joseph's favorite decks, of course. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to do it. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. Uh, any opportunity for you to play any variant of Hero in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! We may as well just rename the series the History of Hero, because I think at this point we have chronicled every Hero deck in this series thus far. But whoa, to be whoa, fair, whoa, whoa. this is actually one of, like, the better variants of the deck, so I'll give it to you. I was going to say, maybe don't spoil the name of my next series, the History of Hero. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, this is, I think, arguably Hero's most successful stint in the TCG. Depends on if you want to call like Bloody and like all those decks that were playing Diamond Dude hero decks. I call those hero okay, decks. Okay, well then I'm those were a lot so. better. Um, Airblade, <laughs> uh, Blue Gadget style builds. Uh, but in terms of masked hero, this is kind of the apex. Um, it had been a rogue deck for a while and now we get to see it with a new card. Totally awesome. I'm terrified. This die roll is going to mean everything. It legitimately so, uh, the entire <laughs> duel, yeah. <laughs> let's shout the patron. I fight horny patron names. Thank yeah! you for the <laughs> you're, you're in our corner, All right. baby. All right, buddy. I rolled the die. Do you have the hand up? Yes, I do. I rolled a six, the number of ABC pieces I need in the graveyard to uh, summon two ABC Dragon Busters. I put up a five, baby. Fuck! This is great grip. I'm so dead. I don't I'm know. so this... dead. I'm, I'm going to get Dark Law turn one. I'm fucked. Okay, this so the awful. worst part about this deck is that uh, it's actually kind of bricky. Um, 
is what I would say if I hadn't drawn extremely well. <laughs> All right, well, uh, that was that was interesting. Uh, let's lead with a hero lives, you know? Yeah, I was about to say, here comes hero lives. Here comes, like, full combo. Let, let's, hey, let's hey, just hey. It. All right. It's not full combo. I lied. Uh, okay, so let's special summon <laughs> elemental hero shadow time. mist. Hey, did you know sure. that this card, when special summoned to my side of the field, allows me to add a change quick play spell for my deck to my hand? I did, in fact, know that. Wow, Thank you for crazy. reminding me. All right, and get ready. This is what I'm talking about, baby. This is what it's all Set about. Set five, baby. It's all about Set them all. five. Set them all. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. We're still going. I'm going to normal summon uh, <laughs> Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. Uh, sure. Then we're going to activate E-Emergency Call. Perfect. Got to uh, get the Bubble Man. We do. We do. Now, here's the problem. As much as I would like to make Toad turn one, Toad has an insanely specific summoning condition. Okay. And that's uh, you have to have two water monsters. Now, okay. usually that's going to be two copies of Bubble Man or Bubble Man and Norden. We'll just summon him here. Okay. Uh, but here, I don't have the opportunity to make it. I guess theoretically, if I had a way to get mask change without triggering Shadow Miss Effect, I could use it to go into Bubble Man. But here I don't. So instead, we are just going to overlay here. Uh, deciding what I want to go for. Uh, boy, Abyss Dweller really sounds terrible when you don't have a graveyard. So uh, instead, we are just going to go for Trap Tricks, Raflesia. All right, so Dark Law, Raflesia, and two other cards. That could be anything because you need a set anything. for Bubble Man. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I will tell you, if I went first, you would have been royally fucked. So I... I, I so we'll we'll see how it goes. All right, stand by main. Whoa, 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 whoa! You mean stand by main? All right, I know you probably got some nonsense, but we're just gonna mass change here. Yep, I this makes sense. Go for it. All right, down comes the boy, and then let's trigger the effect of Shadow Mist. Uh, we will grab a Bubbly Man from deck to hand. Sounds good. All right, so we have Macrocosmos Live, and we have Trap Tricks Raflesia, which is annoying. Okay, how am I going to play through this is the question. I have uh, I have some ideas. I have some ideas. There are, there are some things I can do. I'm not completely out of it yet. I will reveal. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set one card. Yeah! <laughs> I'm going to set another. I'm still with you. I'm going to set another... <laughs> Yeah, we're chilling. We're chilling. Okay. I'm going to activate Union Hanger. Why would you set three cards? Because you are the devil. You don't want me to banish your good cards. Uh, we'll go. Yeah, that's uh, no response to this. Uh, with the Union Hanger, we'll grab ourselves a good old A Assault Core. All right. Dark Claw. Sure. Ba, 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 ba. The A, please. Okay. Let's run that back. Okay, let's run that back. <laughs> Would you like to try again? Okay, there we go. How about that? Okay. Uh, it wasn't A, it was C. All right, well. It's, you know, it, it's fine, I guess. So now that the Dark Law is out of the way, we can fire this Desires off pretty willy-nilly. Willy-nilly. That's fine. Okay, draw two. Ooh, that is not terrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank I'm not going to magician of faith back my <sighs> pot of desires. Thank you very much. Oh, good to hear. Dark Law is just too big. I've been That's saying it, baby. He's a big, big he's, boy. He's a big boy. Raflesia is also big. Yeah, she's a big girl. Yeah. You know, she's all right. Yeah. Not going to lie. I think you hitting C was actually the most annoying <laughs> thing you could have hit out of my hand. Uh, glad to hear it. Dark Law, he knows what yeah. I want, baby. Yes, I could have uh, sequenced it a little bit differently to avoid that, but it still wouldn't have been guaranteed in any case uh let's just cry most likely here uh we'll go assault core trigger hanger <laughs> uh we'll ref you yeah. okay uh, is that fine what do you got i've got no response i got bottomless i figured you might okay so Chain will resolve. My soul core gets banished. Uh, I do not resolve Union Hanger. It just sort of just sits there and does nothing. You know, it's funny you should and, mention uh, Tretch. I'm, I'm not playing Tretch, but it actually is a pretty nice decision. Like, that would be a nice one. Set one. Set two. And I think we'll pass. All right, this is a little weird. Uh, I'm going to hit the fresh sets here. Oh, bop, bop. Uh, it was my twin and a dimensional barrier. Oh, good, because I needed both of those gone. Uh, okay, uh, let's uh, <laughs> let's draw for check. Sure. Uh, oh, my God. Stand by main. Okay, well, unfortunately, yep. that doesn't do anything. Let's just go combat. I'll take 24. I kind of have a rough time closing it out. Like, you've got time. Yep. Draw, stand by main. We'll try for terraforming. Uh, that's fine. 
I will banish it this time so you don't have to. Uh, we'll fire another union hanger. Uh, sure. Well, let's hold up. Bef yeah, oh, that's sorry. I guess, yeah, you could, you could do it before. That's right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Getting ahead of myself. I guess I probably want to wait anyway. Yeah, add a union hanger is fine. I, I figured, yeah, I figured I was just skipping steps because you'd wait till I add the letter to try to hit the letter out of my hand. Uh, we'll go for an A. Hang right. on. We'll try for a dark law here. There's a specific card I want you to hit in my hand. That, I, that was literally the best one you could have been. Just too good, Joseph. You're just too good. Don't I know it. Uh, This is the very fun game we've got going on here. Like you said, I've got time. I'll just sit and pass. Uh, stand by main. Uh, normal summoner monk. Ooh, I might be out of time. Yep. Uh, effect. Tossed. I'll ban these. Whoa! Ooh, you must think we are playing a different game than we are. All right. Uh, <laughs> just get in there, I guess. Uh, oh, you're dead to switch summoner monk to attack next turn. Perfect. All right, go ahead. I am literally dead to switch Summer Monk to attack next turn. All right, game one. Yeah, that about went how I expected it to. Uh, I had Brilliant Fusion to possibly bring out two letters, but unfortunately you kept sniping the uh, second letter in every instance, so it just was not happening. Epic. <laughs> yeah, probably could have done it a little bit differently to like play the <clears throat> odds a bit better in my favor. Man, but... every one of these hands. All right. I agree. Terraforming. Ah, shit. Okay, well. We'll get Hanger. Yeah. I'll just activate Hanger if you're okay with it. Yeah, just do your worst. We'll, uh, we'll grab ourselves a C. Uh, assault core trigger hanger. You're going to identify a problem here. <laughs> <clears throat> Go. Ah, I see. <laughs> All right, standby phase. Yeah. <clears throat> Main phase. So you just don't have the ability to do what you want here, right? Yes. Uh, it may be apparent that I do not have a, another way to get a monster on the field. <laughs> This is actually kind of a hard one. I imagine your set card is like barrier, which still does kind of fuck me up. It's not as, this is one of those games where sequencing is like really important. <laughs> See, it's it's all part of sequencing. All right, let's. Okay, hero lives is fine. Uh, we'll grab Shadow Mist. Um, yeah, I think I'm talking myself into something stupid. Let's just go use the effect. Grab mask change. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be. Uh, desires. That's fine. We don't have Ash yet. We're a few sets off. We're actually, we are frighteningly close. Oh, oh, that's a that's a real thinker. Okay, what rank fours exist at this time? That one. Okay. Uh, summoner Monk. Uh, let's go Summoner Monk effect. I'll pitch Mask Chain. Grab Ubli Man. Uh, normal Bubble Man. We normaled the fucking... I was about to say, how are you normaling a Bubble Man? Okay. Uh, <laughs> You're just uh, cheating now. Uh, yeah, if you have it, you have it. Mask change, target, Shadow Mist. What happens here... Go for, I mean, Dark Claw. I could also go Anki, not the worst. Anki's kind of breezy. Trying to weigh what else you've got here. I mean, I know you have a rank four. Yeah, we'll go for it. We'll go Fusion. I think yeah. it's just probably better. Hate to do this, Maxi? Sure. Bubble Man. <laughs> Bubble Man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Toad, by way well, of- Well, Bahamut, Bahamut Shark. Shark. Yeah, getting ahead of ourselves. E there he is. Second Bubble. Bubble. Can I kill you? I was about to say, eight. you might be close to. So if I destroy a, uh, I can't. So let's just go Fist Dweller. That's annoying. Fact. Yep. And then let's go combat. So we'll go whatever this is. Uh, this is three, and then B will fall off. Uh, this is also three, and then a uh, thousand. Main two. Muhammad Shark can't attack for anyone wondering. Doesn't look right, but given your hand last turn, I am gonna system down here. Just to get rid of, I mean, you know I have C, so you know I'm one away. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the game's just gonna end the next turn anyway. Yeah, C and Union Hanger interact really weird with Toad. Uh, so yeah, uh, go ahead. Okay. You're all. Stand by anything? No, no. Uh, this is gonna be rough. You're all in, though, which is, I guess, a good thing. Oh, this deck is always all in, baby. Uh, you're also on 3k life, so there is a potential I can... And I got I got nothing in the you. tank, either. If you if you <laughs> out this board, it is over. Uh, I guess we'll try our darndest to do so. Uh, we'll go A, Trigger Hanger. A, Trigger Hanger. It's interesting. Well, nothing I can do about that. That's fine. Uh, we'll get ourselves... Another B. 
Yep. Yeah, let's go battle. Yeah. Kill the Shadow Mist. Take eight, see if we got a fucking target in here. Do not, because it can't get itself. Uh, second main, go ahead. Stand by main. Wow, that's a great draw. Yep. Freaking Bahamut Shark, Lois. Second Toad, yep. Yeah, why not? Uh, okay, so... You are in such an odd position here. Um, you'll be able to make Oh, a... also, I take an extra five because the toad is pumped by Dweller. I forgot. You're going to be able to survive here, which sucks. Uh, okay, so this is 22. 22. You got a decent chunk here. I just think you're a little off. Go to combat. Uh, we'll hit for whatever this is, 22. This is three. Uh, attempt to trigger B. That's fine. I Okay. Uh, we'll get A. Why not? Uh, let's go again. This is uh, eight. Uh, trigger A. I'll get B. Uh, and then 22. Or 27. 27. Uh, second main. We're all the good. Oh, perfect. That's just the, the best card in my deck that it could have been. Uh, we'll go normal B union hanger. Yeah. Uh, Toad, of course, can't stop spell effects. So that's fine. Uh, we'll grab C. Yep. Uh, so what do we got? We've got Toad, Dweller, all this nonsense. Uh, we'll just banish. Absolutely. Go for the boy. There he is. Uh, we'll go battle here. I think I have to kill the Dweller. Otherwise, annoyingly enough, your Bahamut shark kills me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I take how much here? Uh, you'll take eight. Your Dweller's at 22. Firing Dweller taking an additional five on attack deck yeah sure okay take so you'll 13. take 13 uh second main set one pass all right has to be something you're that's unbelievable that's incredible oh that bahamut shark if he was just a little bit of a more beefy boy <laughs> he was a little bit bigger <laughs> i'm about to lose the blue eyes white dragon here uh okay um kill for another system down come on turn him sideways yeah actually i like i would prefer you have system down since it requires you to pay a thousand ah. life points that you don't have <laughs> go ahead stand by main toad just gets back a water okay yeah. it's like whatever i guess you get bubble man's back so i'd have to like kill you if i'm gonna commit to that where's my where's my pen to stag true very true uh we'll just do this do i have uh, oh we are missing a lot of sh shit that's annoying uh we will bring out a soul core uh we're gonna go battle kill this yep we'll grab back the boy makes sense we'll kill the other one uh, we'll grab back the other boy uh, we're gonna go effect of Buster. Let's get rid of yeah. this. Pop this. Second main, I'm going to activate Assault Core to attach it to yeah. uh, Buster. Seems good. And I will pass. We actually got draws that do it. We've got draws that don't do it. That's, that's a pretty good one. Uh, Hero lives. Well, this was a fun game. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, Got double bubble in hand. Upstart. Okay, sure. I'll take a thousand. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, you got it. Okay. That was... I did not think I was getting out of that one. That's every game with Hero Man. You get off to this insane lead, and it's like, I just got to push through. I just got to get the, the rest of it done. I mean, you're staring down double toad. It seems like you can't lose. All, All right, right this see what you got. Uh, well, I got tin goldfish. Uh, okay. Let's special summon shadow mist. Sure. Uh, Seems good. And then let's go get a mask change, baby. Yep. Uh, let's go ahead and set... Uh, let's not set anything yet. Upstart. Thousand. Oh, the literal best card in our deck. Don't mind if I do. Emergency call. All right, uh, ready? One. I'm here for it. Two. Three. Bubble Man. Okay, thinking here. Oh, thinking here. Yeah. Yeah, think, think hold on. You what you got? I am. What you got? I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm think, thinking. think. Uh, you're going to make Toad yes. here? <laughs> Okay, you can you can summon your Bahamut Shark. I'll summon my Bahamut Shark. Anything here. When you summon your Bahamut Shark, I will Chaos Hunter. Chaos it's Hunter? It's Trick Jesus Christ. Well, that's fucking annoying. <laughs>
<laughs> the amount of times this card has fucked you in this series. Yeah. You got anything afterwards? Uh, I have Trick Clown's effect, if you allow Would it. you like to trigger it? Go for it. Yeah, thanks for the upstart for uh, fronting me the cash. Hey, and thank you for giving me some targets for my Raigeki, you dumb fuck. No! Get this shit off the board. <laughs> Get this shit off the board. What are you talking about? Chaos Hunter. All right, make it. Let's make it. The some one of right Geki. Are you fucking kidding me? Right. Oh my God. Right, I can't believe that came up. That really, I did not think was going to come up. Oh, and I had to do, I wanted to do it on the dark lob. So that way you couldn't do something like that. But if you summon Toad, I can't do it. That's true. Hey, oh you know what else God. you can't do? Anything. Get yeah, fucked. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I love Yu-Gi-Oh. It's just really good. Oh, cool. Yep, yep. Yeah, you don't have to tell me. I know. You don't have to tell me. Oh, that's a really good hand for you. Wow, magnetic reverse and everything. Oh, this hand doesn't do anything to Dark Claw. It's it's fine. Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Bad. I'm you literally dead. dead. You are literally dead. Woo! I am no work. Hey, some things never change, baby. That's how I won the feature. <laughs> that's one for the highlight reel for this oh, year. That's for sure. God. Holy shit. I felt so good when I saw this hand. Oh, my this, God. This Fucking hand is all bangers. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> What's this? Oh, oh mass change. change. Duh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. Holy shit. This is... I don't think this is. this hand is... This is unlosable. How can yeah, you no, lose Yeah, no, I opened that? this hand and I was like, that's Hero. Uh, I was like, wow, this Regeki is kind of a brick. <laughs> that, was, that was the only <laughs> thing I was thinking. Yeah, no, I mean, that's uh, that's the deck. <laughs> um, we we <laughs> talked about it uh, a lot, you know, over the course of the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! We've kind of been waiting on this deck, and I talked about it a lot in the deck build as well. But, uh, you know, this represents Hero pivoting from this, like, okay, we have a resource loop and repeated Stratos activations to, like, an all-in feast or famine combo deck which is what it is now in the tcg as well with the exception of destroyer phoenix enforcer which is like at least a little bit recursive this was one of the two decks uh, in the format that was really really good at making totally awesome off of bahamut shark the other being uh mermail and uh that's obviously because bubble man is not a once per turn uh you just play a bunch of spell cards that search bubble man you set them all you summon one you activate one you summon another one you make bahamut shark but also because we have stuff like Tin Goldfish, previously playable in, like, Gadget, that just happens yep. to be water. Um, and, of course, it all plays very nicely with Shadow Mist, which makes Dark Law, which at a time when people are trying to send a bunch of cards to the graveyard, uh, be they uh, the ABC pieces, uh, Pendulum cards that, as a replacement effect, will just go to Banished instead of Face Up Extra, and the like... Um, you know, th this is a pretty good place to be. Uh, and it can open hands like this that are just absolutely unlosable under any circumstances. Uh, that said, yeah. um, what happened in game two is usually more how this plays out. You know, despite the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh! is tilting ever uh, closer to kind of the combo format, uh, you know, singularity where every deck has the ability to put up a billion negates and whatever... Uh, decks still have a sort of inevitability that this deck cannot keep up with. Despite the fact that Shadow Mist adds you a Bubble Man back to your hand after it goes to the graveyard, despite the fact that after Totally Awesome is used, it gets you a little bit of advantage. It's nothing compared to the recursive uh, nature of uh, decks like ABC. I mean, you mentioned if you had just won the die roll, this entire thing would have played out differently. And uh, for that reason, while Awesome Hero was a very popular deck during this period, uh, didn't see a ton of success. It sees a fair amount of tops at this YCS and the subsequent one, but not a lot afterwards. Yeah, and we saw the issues with this deck also still coming to light as well. Uh, even with Brilliant Fusion being in the deck now, which the initial versions opted not to play because for whatever reason, even though it was being played in other decks that were normal summon reliant, people just didn't put two and two together yet for whatever mm -hmm. reason, especially because Seraphonite can send a light, which is hilarious. You were like, wait, these um, are light monsters? <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, it's crazy. So... Uh, this deck, we're on the gadgets. We have Trick Clown. We have Photon Thrasher. We have Brilliant Fusion. We have multiple ways to summon multiple monsters onto the field to go into opening combos or to at least establish a couple things to get to a basic rank four. But we especially saw in the second game that if you don't draw those cards, then you're in real trouble. I was getting flooded on letters after letters, and there was just nothing I could do about it, which is why I was just amazed that we even came out of that second game alive in the slightest. But... 
when you have a hand like this, when you actually get to play it and anti-spell fragrance isn't on the field, and you have Brilliant Fusion, Dump Trick Clown, Terraforming to get your first letter, you immediately already have like the makings of your full combo plus Pot of Desires, and we're even on shit like Magnet Reverse to bring back either Buster if it's been banished for its effect, or in the case against you, because you're playing Dark Law, we can just bring back one of our guys, so that way we actually can make... Uh, well, actually, no, it has to be Buster specifically, so that doesn't even work. But in any case, it's a way to just bring back our giant guy if we at least get him to stick on the field once. Um, and it's like, it it's a deck that's very repeatable, and it's something that a lot of people are very comfortable with because it's super simple, right? The lines are pretty straightforward. The problem is, if you're only seeing one half of the deck, you're going to really struggle to actually get anywhere. If you draw too many of the letters, you're going to be stuck normal summoning once per turn, hopefully getting to the point you can eventually summon a buster. Uh, but in the case of games two and three, you see that there was tons of hate for this deck in the form of system down and the like. Some people, I think, were also bringing in the uh, cycle readers because blue eyes was still around, and these are also light, so that I mean, hit what do you well. think, anti-spell is in here for you yeah, know exactly it's not I mean, mermail anti-spell was, <laughs> anti was in here for like a lot of decks during yeah, this period because yeah. this pendulums, is like when we're slowly yeah, yeah. yeah i mean there's just so many things that anti-spell was good against i think this is really maybe when the cry out for anti-spell fragrance to get banned started and that was seven years ago honestly <laughs> the time of recording this. should be banned i mean it, it i agree just so I frustrating agree. of a card to, as you just yeah. saw in that non-game but uh Two really interesting decks. Uh, not the last we're going to see of ABC. Probably the last we'll see of Hero. Um, but certainly not the last we're going to see of Totally Awesome. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout outs to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medulce, Moto, Cameron Smith, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Phoenix the Immortal, Dan the Man Hoban, Richard Enormous, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Jesse Wood, Valen Jackson, Chris Hood, Little Fade Leaf, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Immunitaisho, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Dalton, Lubon, Yodabon. I've tried reading cards before. It was horrible. Horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy. Helios 515, CMOS Chaos Cooking Draft, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel by All Communities Soon, Cancel by All Committees Soon, Cancel by All Players Soon, Shrugzix, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, Corvain, and Grey9. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.